Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, we have a JEE advanced problem, and our task is to evaluate this logarithmic expression. Of course, to solve this problem, we are going to start by simplifying the exponent as far as possible. To do this, the first thing we are going to do is to change the base of this logarithm from 4 root 2 to 8 to match this second term. Now, when we apply the change of base formula to this, we have 5 times log to base 8. Remember, 8 is the new base of 3 minus root 6 divided by log to base 8 of the old base, which is 4 root 2. Now, let us look at this denominator. We have log to base 8 of 4 multiplied by, of course, you know that 2 is the square root of 4. So we have 4 to the power half. And we have the square root of 2. So we have this to the power half. Now, of course, this is log to base 8 of 4 times 4 to the power half times half. Because, of course, you know that to get rid of these brackets, we multiply these two powers. So we have 1 over 4. Now, of course, you know that this is 4 to the power 1. So we can write this as log to base 8 of 4 to the power 4 over 4. 4 over 4 is equal to 1. Multiplied by 4 to the power 1 over 4. And you remember that when we multiply two numbers with the same base, all we do is to add their exponents. So this is log to base 8 of 4 to the power 4 plus 1 is 5 over 4. But we haven't finished. Now, you know that 4 you know that 4 is the square of the cube root of 8. So we can write this as 8 to the power 2 over 3. This is 4. Once more, 4 is the square of the cube root of 8. So 8 to power 2 over 3 is equal to 4. Then, of course, we still have the power 5 over 4. 2 into itself is 1. Into 4 is 2. So we have that this denominator is the same as log to base 8 of 8 to the power 5 over 3 times 2 is 6. Now, remember that log to base a of a to power b is equal to b. So, log to base 8 of 8 to the power 5 over 6 is equal to 5 over 6. So, we have that this denominator, that is log to base 8 of 4 root 2, is equal to 5 over 6. So here we have 5 over 6. Then, of course, we have minus 6 times log to base 8 of root 3 minus root 2. But, of course, you know that when we divide by a fraction, it is the same as multiplying by the inverse of that fraction. So here we have 6 over 5. That is the inverse or the reciprocal of this denominator. Times 5 times log to base 8 of 3 minus root 6. Minus 6 times log to base 8 of root 3 minus root 2. Of course, this is going to cancel that. And we have 6 times log to base 8 of. Now look at this. We can factorize this because we can write this as root 3 times root 3 minus root 3 times root 2. Of course, you know that root 3 times root 3 is equal to 3. And root 3 times root 2 is equal to root 6. Now we still have minus 6 times log to base 8 of root 3 minus root 2. 
So from here we have six times log to base eight of you can see a common factor which is root three. So we have root three multiplied by root three times root three divided by root three, of course, is root three minus root three times root two divided by root three is root two. Then we have minus six times log to the is eight of root three minus root two. Now, when you look at this, you can see that we have a product that is root three times root three minus root two. And of course, you remember that log A times B is equal to log A plus log B. So that means that we can write this as six times log to be is eight of root three plus log to be is eight of root three minus root two bracket close minus six times log to be is eight of root three minus root two now opening these brackets we have six times log to be is eight of root three plus six times log to be is 8 of root 3 minus root 2 minus 6 times log to be is 8 of root 3 minus root 2 and of course you know that this minus this is equal to 0 so this is going to take care of this leaving us with 6 times log to be is 8 of root 3 now, since we have four as the base here, let us change this from base eight to base two. So this is equal to six times log to base two of root three divided by log to base two of the old base, which is eight. But of course, you know that this is log to base two of two to the power three, because eight is two cubed. And of course, you know that this is equal to 3. So we have that this is equal to 6 times log to base 2 of root 3 divided by 3. Of course, 3 into itself is 1 and into 6 is 2. So we have that this is equal to 2 times log to base 2 of root 3. So finally, what we have is 4 to the power 2 times log to base 2 of root 3. But of course, you know that this is the same as 2 squared, which is 4 to the power 2 times log to base 2 of root 3. And of course, you know that we can write this as 2 to the power log to base 2 of root 3 to the power 2 times 2 that is 4. Now remember that a to the power log to base a of b is equal to b. So 2 to the power log to base 2 of root 3 is equal to root 3. So we have root 3 to the power 4. This is simply equal to root 3 times root 3 times root 3 times root 3. Of course, this is 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. So the value of this expression is 9. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching and you can see more videos here.